Okay, so today we are doing something a lot less involved than we did last time. We're gonna be doing bowling alley carpet nails. So let me uh, show everybody kind of what we're going for. So I've got these two images. We actually have images today, unlike last time where we did not actually have images. Here is kind of what we're going for. Uh, this is like my main inspiration. And I was gonna do all stamping, but I'm not gonna do all stamping today. Uh, let me show you the other picture I had. Let's see. Oh no, I don't want my wallpaper. <laughs> uh, I want to be able to see this picture. This picture is like very small though. And I can't get it to move away from the center of the screen. So yeah, here's another kind of picture of bowling alley carpet that we're kind of going for today. Uh, I need to pull it up actually on my side so that I have a reference. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm also gonna talk in a bit about um, playing this video game, My Horse Prints. But first we're going to just kind of start with the base. I keep wanting to turn the wallpaper back on that like woman, a girl in love with the human faced horse. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with the Cuccio Dehydrator. Um, as you can see, the camera setup I think is a lot better today. You can actually see my nails. I actually had to open my entire, uh, my entire webcam and like rotate the lens a little bit just to make this happen. How am I going to, my thumb is always the hardest one. So we're gonna need some dehydrator. That's gonna take all the oil away from my nails. I did apply some oil so that my cuticles didn't just look like dehydrated AF. I do have two stamping plates that I was thinking of using. I think I'm just gonna use one. But on that stamping plate, I am gonna do a really cool technique that I think everyone will like to see. I was gonna do two stamps, but it just ended up being kind of messy. I actually have my practice like swatch sticks close by. And I also did file my nails down last week because I looked kind of like a witch last week. I think everyone agreed. Yeah, I gotta moisturize. Yeah, um, I'm using today Sally Hansen cuticle oil, nail and cuticle oil with vitamin E. It's like probably my least favorite of the nail oils that I use, but um, it's good to have one like literally everywhere. That's the one that lives at my nail table. Uh, I have like, I actually make my own with just jojoba and vitamin E. And I give it to anybody <laughs> who I see. I'm using Orly Bonder base coat, best base coat in the world. Do you all like my camera that's actually in focus today? Thank you. Yes, I literally had to open up my freaking camera. And it's also set on autofocus, so it's not going to just, like, try to focus a million times while I try to find, like, the location it's focusing. Okay, so after this layer, we're going to go in with a one coat black. Today, I'm going to be using finger paints. Black Expressionism is what I'm using today. I don't even know if that, it doesn't even matter. Here's my, my pro move here of whacking. A lot of people don't shake their polishes right before they apply, um, but I do, I sure do. I don't do it to top coats though. Top coats and base coats, for some reason, they will like, I don't know, the top coats I use tend to be really thick. 
I know. Do you love it when you get to use your random degree you don't use anymore? I think you and I both have that situation. Okay, so this is a really nice one coat black. You can get it at Sally Beauty. That's like the only place. I'm going to try to. No, I can't do that. All right. This isn't going to be the best look, but like my thumb never is. Sometimes like I'll do nail art for all my nails and then I'll just like leave my thumb blank because like it's hard to do and I don't like doing it. And I never show my thumb in my pictures anyway. Okay, this side needs a little more. Yeah, this is one of the, um, I con worried like all my nail polishes a while back and I never thought that I would like regret that. You do have to shake it. Well, a lot of people like to roll it. A lot of people say like, oh, don't shake your polishes. You roll them. So like they'll put them between their hands and they'll be like, they'll do this. The camera is so close. I can't even show it. Um, but like, I don't know. That's. I don't believe it's doing anything when I do that. <laughs> I'm always just like, no, I must shake it. I must shake it. Actually, I'll go through and clean these after. I'm going to clean these. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, that's for fancy people. <laughs> exactly. Fancy people who have, who have all the time in the day have their servants roll their nail polishes so they don't build up bubbles. But us common folk... We shake our nail polishes. This is not going on the way that I really want it to right now because I'm not using enough polish. I used to use like really thin coats of polish because everybody would say like, oh, it's better to do two thin coats than one thick coat. But I was just doing too thin of a coat. Yeah, only a few of my nail polishes survived the purge. Like, I think, like, maybe 20, and that's, like, a generous guesstimate. Um, and I feel so stupid because, like, there's polishes that I've literally rebought. I'm pretty sure that I rebought um, Maybelline Clearly Spotted because I threw away my bottle. One polish I didn't throw out was Essie Bulgaria, which is just this like super freaking weird polish. I actually have a, I just swatched it on top of the bottle. Let me show it off. Is it right here? Yeah. It looks like asphalt. It literally looks like asphalt. And I didn't. I didn't get rid of it. My mom just thought that it was like a black glitter polish, but I put it on and it was all like textured. And at first I was like, what the fuck? And then I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> um, so that survived and it's on so many people's ugliest nail polish lists. Like if you like watch YouTubers that talk about the ugly nail polishes they own, that's always on the list. Uh, Kelly Marissa didn't have it on her list, which I feel like I should just like fucking send her a bottle. And uh, if she doesn't already have it, I really liked it for a lot of reasons, though. Um, one thing I'm always itchy and it helped me scratch. Is that gross? <laughs> it helped me scratch myself. Um, maybe that is, but I don't care. Okay. I do love, I, I almost never have a full black manicure. Look how nice this looks in this ring light. It looks so nice. I'm so happy that I like updated my setup from last week because I had the ring light so low because I was balancing the webcam on the ring light. So I needed it close to my nails. But this week I have a separate tripod and next week I'm going to have like even fancier tripods. And it's gonna be over for you hoes, as they say. Okay, we're gonna do some cleanup. If you are not a nail person, I know this is so shiny without a top coat, right? 
And you're like, whoa, how does Stephanie, like, get her nails so nice and even on the edge? This is how I do it. It does come with a price of not going all the way to the edge. But I did watch, like, I watched a really fascinating video by Paula's Lab Rat. And she's actually the person who through her videos taught me how to really do cleanup because even though I watched a lot of YouTubers who did clean up it never really like got through my head like how to not totally mess up your mani and then I watched her video and what she told me and what she told everybody like it's not like it was just for me um is to just kind of like lean it against your cuticle is what she said like use your cuticle as a guide and rest the brush against your cuticle and that like upped my game so much i actually took a picture and tagged her in it when i like did my first real cleanup on the manicure and was like you did it <laughs> i know how to do it now and she also um she also talked about getting this brush this KNI cleanup brush and it was not cheap but I love it so much I think I paid like I don't remember if it was $14 plus shipping or if it was $14 once the shipping happened but it wasn't cheap but I love it and I oil it after every use and try to keep it in shape yeah, yeah, let me show you how I oil it. Um, so what I do, uh, because now it's all dry from the acetone, I don't know if this is real hair or if this is synthetic. Um, but what I do is I just take some nail oil and then after I use it, uh, I just dab a little on both sides and then I kind of just like put it in shape like that. And then sometimes like little flyaways happen and I like nip them off the sides. So far, not enough flyaways have happened that it's really affected like the amount of bristles, but someday it will. So I'll have to replace the brush. But, um, but I've had this brush for, I think like, I don't know, at least six months of like bi-weekly polishing, sometimes like like multi, multiple times a week polishing. Okay, so one of the stamping plates we're gonna be using today is this new MoYu London, is that? No, that's upside down for you guys. This new MoYu London Care Bears plate um, I got three of them and I had to order them off of the British Moyu site. There is Moyu London for British people. Oh, thanks, Twirl. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's made a big difference in my cleanup brushes longevity. Um, yeah, if you go to MoyuLondon.com, you cannot get these. You have to go to MoyuLondon.co.uk and then you can get these. Um, so all I'm using off of this plate, I will eventually do some actual Care Bears nail art, which by the way, look at this plate. It's so cute, but you can't really see it because of my ring light. Uh, can I, can I get my ring light out of it? No, I can't. Um, I'm really excited about this because I feel like I can do those like memes that used to look like that on my nail. Um, and yeah, there's all of the main Care Bears on this plate. Um, I'm just going to be using these dots. Uh, to like remake the dots in the background of those bowling alley carpets. And I'll show you what I was going to use over them because I've done the bowling alley carpet. If you like came here from um, Instagram, the bowling alley carpet nails that I had were these. Um, this is the Moyu Back to the Future plate. <laughs> Advice animal nail art. Yes, yes. Advice animal nail art. You got it. Um, so yeah, this is the Back to the Future. I'm not a huge fan of Back to the Future. Like I'm not an anti-fan. I don't hate Back to the Future. Um, but I really mostly got it because of all the vaporwave elements in here. So there's like 
two different like cool like bowling alley carpet kind of designs there's this grid going off into the distance um this thing these trees like all of these kind of cool vaporwave things but mostly i wanted to use these yes thank you sark <laughs> uh, i figured you would like this um i mostly want to use this for a uh, bowling alley carpet but i did some tests uh, do I have the, I thought I saved the swatches to show you all the swatches. Um, yeah, I did some tests and they didn't turn out well. Like this is a big test one. I tested a bunch of things on this. Um, they didn't turn out well. So I'm going to be doing a hand drawing of the weird little shapes. Okay. Everybody okay here? I'm actually going to clean up the edge. It's always the edge of this nail. Like it's got a little divot in it. Yeah, if you're looking for um, stamping plates that are like from properties, like um, Moyu is a really good place to go, but they take forever to get to you because they are in Britain and I don't think they have a free shipping. So like my Care Bear plates, like I had to pay $20 shipping on my Care Bear plates. It was insane. Uh, but like, where else am I gonna get real licensed Care Bear plates? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere is the answer. Okay, so uh, today we're going to be using these Maniology uh, Neon, quote, Schools Out. That is the collection. Neon stamping colors because they're really nice and opaque. So I'm going to be using them for painting too, unless I want a purple because for some reason I have two gripes with this collection, and I am a Maniology ambassador. You can use my code uh, fanatic here at maniology.com for 10% off. I do love their products, but I do have a slight gripe, is that the pink and the purple in this collection are like so samey. They're just like basically the same color. Like there's a difference, of course, but like putting both of them in the same collection is weird. Um, and my other gripe is that they don't all, like not all of these colors are black light reactive. Um, so let me see of these, these are all, these are all black light reactive. Let me pull them down. These ones are, but the uh, blue, is not black light reactive. Yeah. And unfortunately the white from Maniology BAM White is also not black light reactive. And it's kind of hard to get a black light reactive white. I don't know why. Um, this uh, LA Colors white polish is black light reactive. I might use it, but it's not very opaque. So I probably won't. I'll probably just use BAM White or like OPI Alpine Snow because I would really love for these to be completely black light reactive, but I don't think we're going to get there today, especially since I'm going to be using this blue. Uh, so if I'm going to put any purple on this, I am going to use Born Pretty uh, Girls Party because we're doing nail art for girls, right, Husbando? Uh, my husband tried to make an account today or succeeded in making an account today, and the... And Twitch was like, what are your interests? And it was like, you like typed in like nail art. And they're like, do you mean nail art for girls? And he's like, fuck you. Um, sorry, you didn't say it. it doesn't curse as much as I do. Uh, okay. Okay, I've got my big stamper. And I've got my Care Bears plate. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing like, I would almost call it a gradient. Yes, nail art for girls and girl nail art. So we're gonna do some nail art for men. There is actually a, uh, there is actually someone I follow. I think it's like nail art dad or dad's nail art. Um, let me look at my list of who I'm following. What's this guy? Uh, Cause there is like kind of a nail artist for men that I follow. Like, not that I think that like n any nail art regardless needs to be gendered, but this guy like lays acrylic and does like, um, like dragon nails 
and stuff. Yeah, he is um, Nail Dad. Dad Nails. Dad Nails on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like this guy, like he does do a lot of different kinds of nail art, but he also does like, he'll like shape his nails in cool different ways. So yeah, shout out to uh, Dad Nails, at Dad Nails on Instagram if you want to see some nail art for boys, I guess. <laughs> okay, um, so what we are doing here, we're just going to use, um, I think, blue and purple for the background here because that's kind of like what I've been seeing. Um, is more blue and purple. We're using this dot here, these dots, trying to move it like out of the direct ring light. Where can I move you to? Okay, we can move you to right, right here. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this purple and I'm just gonna like add some little splotches of it, kind of like all over. Maybe I'll do some pink in here too. I'll do, I'll, you know, I'll do, I'll do, um, I'll use the kind of the purple from the Maniology collection. It's really like a cool toned pink and a warm toned pink almost, or fuchsia. I always call pinks fuchsia. It's interesting because some people like call colors I would call fuchsia purple, or I'd call pink purple. It's interesting being in like the nail scene and one of the most interesting things I find is like what people deem colors to be. Uh, what's purple versus what's pink versus what's fuchsia. Like Orly just released a Valentine's collection and they're like now including this purple color and I'm like that is so not purple. But to some people it is. Okay, so we've got all these colors. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one light scrape, another light scrape to just make sure all these holes are filled. And then we're going to do one heavier scrape just to make sure that all of the stuff is off. It might still pick up that though. Let me see. Let's see. No, I scraped it too much. Okay, we got to redo. This happened in practice too. Oh yeah, you're in for a treat. It's really fun to watch. Sark just said that he's never seen someone apply these. Um, yeah, like when I first got, like started stamping, I was showing everybody how this was done because it's so cool. Let me just clean my scraper. Okay, so let's try this another time. Let's do splotches. I'm going to do like less neat splotches this time because who cares, right? And then some splotches and we need some blue splotches. This is one of the problems with doing stamping is that sometimes you've got to like do the same stamp over and over again until it actually behaves. So. Okay, since it's behaving the way it's behaving, I'm going to try it now. Oh, uh, it's kind of like, it's not perfect. Uh, I should apply, well, hmm. okay, I'm just going to do this on my thumb because my thumb doesn't matter. All right, there it is on my thumb. Okay. That turned out really good. I hope you guys can see the colors. It's hard to like, well, you'll see the colors on the other ones. I gotta clean this up now. Stupid thumbs. All right, there we go, cleaned up. And then some of the stuff kind of like ends up sticking up, so. I just pat it down. Okay, thumbs done. And I don't actually mind like, it's a little bit smudged, but I don't really mind that. So let's go in for the next one for my index finger. 
There we go. And we need a paper towel. You need like two paper towels. I've got my one for just for dabbing. And I got one for cleaning off my scraper. There we go. Okay. Number two. I keep picking up the, like the warm tone pink. It really is a warm tone and a cool tone is really what this set has. It is not a pink and a purple. Okay, I'll start stop harping on this set of neons. I'm just happy to have this set of neons. Just happy to be here today doing my nails online. <laughs> okay. Got that. I'm going to swipe across and then we're going to, oh, I forgot to do this. Okay. It might not pick up. Let's see. Uh, it didn't pick up very well because I waited too long. I do that. This is what I do. Like if you wait a second too long on this plate, it'll be like, sorry. I'm not gonna let you pick it up. So what I do is I don't clean my stamper off and then I go in to stamp. And then I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I gotta do the thing again. RIP my stamping polish. Okay. At least I'm not using black stamping polish. Black stamping polish is like, it's really, like, it's fine. It's not like, don't use black stamping polish, but it's just, you know, it's black pigment, so it gets everywhere. It's so dark. It's very annoying. All right, here we go. Here's some blue. And let's scrape, 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 scrape across. Okay, my only gripe about this right now is that like, I can, uh, I'm not doing it like on cam. There we go. Is that like the center is hollow on these little dots, but they're doing pretty good. Like I'm pretty happy. Okay, before I mess this up again, we're gonna put this on my freaking thing. The bottom of this bear kind of looks like a big fat ass. Uh, right there. You can't see it, but I promise you it looks like a big fat ass. I know. I've seen them. I've seen it. Next week, I'm probably, speaking of Columbia from Rocky Horror, um, I'm probably going to be doing some meatloaf, some Eddie from Rocky Horror themed nail art next week in honor of meatloaf um, by the request of my uncle, who I don't think is going to be watching, but I do love meatloaf and I do love Rocky Horror. Let me not like pull my nail back. This is my, this is my problem is that I pull my nail back so you all can't see what I'm doing. I'm just cleaning up where I stamped off. I know, RIP Mr. Loaf. I loved him, I loved him so much. And you know, like over the years, I've been watching Rocky Horror since I was literally an infant. Like I've identified and wanted to be like different characters throughout. Like, of course, everybody wants to be like Frankie without the, uh, you know, extreme violence and things like that. Um, but you know, I've identified with him more. I've identified with, uh, what's her name? Um, Janet Moore. I've identified with uh, Magenta more, things like that. Not like necessarily on a deep personal level, but like if I wanted to cosplay one, that's who I'd be. Um, and later in my life, it's actually really been Eddie. I just want to be a fat rock and roller, the hot girlfriend. And I think I've achieved that in my life. 
with my hot husbando. So I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, I think we're going to be doing Eddie nails next week. And that'll be fun. I should post that um, literal video on my Facebook so we can all laugh at that. Hopefully this comes off because it looks kind of thin. Oh shit, oh shit, where'd my stamper go? I like said I cleaned my stamper and then I didn't actually clean my stamper. So I'm gonna need to do that again. I'm gonna need to do all of these twice, apparently. All right. Anyways, the other thing we're going to talk about while I do all of these is I've been playing this game called uh, My Horse Prince. And the reason I started playing it is because I really wanted to play Uma Musume Pretty Derby, in which there are horse girls that you race against each other. And I think you like get a horse and you can like uh, level it up and it'll like compete against other horse girls. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to play that game because there was an anime for it and it was absolutely the wildest shit. Like this chick was like, oh, I'm a horse girl and I'm doing my first race today. And this guy comes up to her in a very like gross anime style was like, oh, your legs. And she's like, stop it, you pervert. Um, and he's like, no, I like am a horse girl person and I can help you win at the horse girl races. So she like joins with him and he like puts her in the horse girl races and then she wins her first race and then she is surprised. I don't know why she's surprised because like in this world it seems like horse girl racing. <laughs> Where have you heard that before? <laughs> I've heard it somewhere that's for sure. Um, at the end of your race if you win you've got to like perform a song. Um, and she was like, wait, I have to perform a concert? You know, what? Um, and so she does perform a concert and has like backup dancers. And I think she knows the song. I don't remember the episode too much. We didn't watch the whole thing. But one day I was just like, you know, I want a cell phone game. And I think that cell phone game is going to be Uma Musume because I need to know what the fuck's up with this. So um, I went to download it and found out you can only download it in Japan. Like, it's not even just that it's just in Japanese. You can only download it in Japan, I guess. It's just too hot. Um, I think she knew she would sing if she won, but she didn't think she would win. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Of course, Hasbando watched it with me. Um, so... Uh, so yeah, I wanted to play that game, but it's like, nah, you got to be in Japan. And I was like, well, F. Um, so there goes that dream. But then I saw ads for this thing called uh, My Horse Prince. I'm a big time movie producer. I'll make you a star. Yes, absolutely, Sark. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what, like, it's still like, okay, like it is a little more endearing. It's not like 100% disgusting, but it is still kind of a gross show. Like the premise is still really like, really messed up. <laughs> I do have to say. Um, so anyway, that was Umu Musume. I want to go to Japan too. I want to go so bad. I'm going to be like too big for everything there though, probably, but I've known people who are big who've gone to Japan and they haven't had like a horrible time. So they enjoyed it. So I think I'll be okay. Um, so anyway, I found a game called My Horse Prince and My Horse Prince, I'm pretty sure is like, is made as kind of like a reaction to this horse girl uh, show and like horse girl games or maybe just the one horse girl game. Um, and it's definitely facetious. It like knows what it's doing. So I downloaded it and I don't know what I was expecting, but like the horse is just a dude, like it's just a horse with a human face. So if you like logged in before I was on and saw like a girl in love with a, a horse with a human face, <laughs> a human faced horse, that is from that. Um, I'll show you some screenshots after I do this. Okay, before, okay, okay, my thing's clean. My thing's clean, we're good. 
They're good. Okay. Now let's swipe across and let's. Ah. All right. Okay. We got it. We're good. I'm gonna actually put this under the camera so you all can see it stamp. And it is stamped. Looking good. These are looking good. I'm very happy. Not like last week where just like everything that could go wrong was going wrong. Although those nails did turn out like sick as hell. Nobody could see them because my focus was bad. So this week they're going to look sick as hell and everyone will be able to see them. Uh, let me bring up just like a picture of this horse. I don't know if I can actually move these freaking uh, pictures. Can I edit this? Can I make you bigger? Yes, I can make you bigger and I can move you off to the side. Can I move you to, I can move it to the side. Not like the other ones where I couldn't move it to the side. All right, let me put up a few of these, like the first time she meets her horse prince. And then um, when he corners her, I'm gonna put that up too. Uh, let me see. Cornering, I mean, you'll see it. When you see it, you'll see it. Like, it's when a person, like, gets you in the corner and, like, acts all sexy towards you. Uh, one sec, I'm still getting that image up. And um, while I'm doing that, I'll also do the hoof face part because it's so funny. Come on. Let me move this. Thank you. Last week, I couldn't put anything up, so nobody had any idea what I was talking about because no one's seen Suspiria. Um, can I please see? I want hoof face. Thank you. There we go. All right, so here's some of the uh, <laughs> images <laughs> associated with this game. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my horse prince looks like and so you go to a farm and there is this like very i mean okay i will say a literally very sketchy farmer like he looks like he has been it, isn't it great like it's actually nice like i actually like this game um there is a literally sketchy um farmer who looks like a sketch and he like talks to you and you're like, oh, I'm a businesswoman visiting a farm because I want to relax or whatever. And he's like, you should go take a look at our horse out in the field. And she's like, okay. And like, she sees the horse and he like has that human face. And she's like, um, what? Uh, and he's like, oh, were you born in the year of the horse? Like, that's why you can see the horse as a human. Some people have that ability. And the horse talks to her and is like hitting on her. And like his owner doesn't want to keep him. Like you feed him. That's one of the first things you do is help feed him. And the farmer's like, okay, but this is going to be his last meal because his owners have abandoned him. And you're like, oh, that's sad. And he's like, you should be his new owner. And like the character is just like trying to not be his new owner the entire time. I'm sure that's going to end with them living happily ever after. But like at the time, she's like, I don't want to be his owner. But she decides to stay. Um, and she like helps train him by just like having him run on treadmills. But the treadmills keep falling from the sky. It is extremely odd. Okay, this did not pick up whatsoever, so we've got to redo it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Are you a Sagittarius? Like, this isn't even a fucking, like, centaur. Uh, not like that centaur that I saw that one time. I didn't clean up this nail. I need to clean it up because now I'm seeing it. I would share that centaur with the chat, but um, I don't want to be removed from Twitch. I could share a recursive centaur, though. But yeah, the horse is very nice. The horse is nice. The horse makes her breakfast, but the breakfast is just like uh, chopped up green onions. That's like literally all it is. Man, I need to like get... The problem is I want everything to be like over here 
like way over here, over by me. There, oh, that's not bad though. That's not bad. Uh, I was born in the year of the rabbit, so I wonder. Like, I actually really dislike rabbits. Like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with rabbits. Rabbits are fine, but um, we had rabbits when I was a kid, and they all died horribly. Um, and they also were kind of bitey. <laughs> and I disliked that about them. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really like rabbits. Um, I don't know if I would um, date a human-faced rabbit. I think I probably wouldn't. To be honest with you, I probably wouldn't date a human-faced rabbit. You can write that on my tombstone. Stephanie probably wouldn't have dated a human-faced rabbit. Uh, okay. Put on my card. I did get little cards from Maniology to write down my Maniology code for people, which is so exciting. I really like that little package they sent. It was fun. So if you want some stamping gear, they've got good stamping gear. Their best uh, deal for like new people though um, I don't think it's covered. I don't think you can use my code when you buy it. Cause there's like a, a stamping kit worth like $24, I think that you can get for just shipping, which is like $4 if you never bought from them before. And if you're interested, like highly, highly recommend, uh, doing that option. If you can use my code with it, go for it. If not, then like do that because it's a pretty sweet deal that they give you. At the end of the day, I just want everyone to have fun with their nails. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't do the thing. This is going to do the same thing again. It's going to do the same thing. Oh, my freaking God. When will I learn? When will I ever learn? I don't know what's going to happen next in the horse thing. Unfortunately, I... It takes a really long time to like, so every 30 minutes you get like three talk sessions with your horse prints. This is because I keep like trying to be cool and like clean off my uh, scraper every time. And cleaning off your scraper every time is not as cool as it seems, I guess. So we'll see what happens next with my horse prints. Um, the, the game is incredibly self-aware. It's really fun. I should just start playing Stardew Valley on my phone. Okay, the side. All right, we're gonna get right in there. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing wrong. That's what I was doing wrong. Okay, let's try to get it so y'all can see it. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can. Excellent. Now I want to learn how to do like the really cool close up stuff where people post like how they're doing their nails and you can just see like every step of it. I would love to start posting that. All right, I'm going to remove these. Remove, remove, remove. All right. Enough about the horse prints. I'm gonna say when I get talking and totally forget to queue up another song. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sark is a DJ. That is how they we met. He was DJing karaoke. Uh you mentioned it, so I hope you don't mind me mentioning it. Not that this is like a huge, huge group of people. I love doing karaoke. I miss karaoke so much, but I am afraid to do things. <laughs> I am afraid to go anywhere and do anything. Okay, since we're not going to be doing nail art on my right hand, we are now done with this stamping plate. Goodbye, my beautiful bears. I love you. Yes, yes, Twirl, better to be safe. Yes. If I want to do a lot more karaoke in the future, then I've just got to 
to not do the karaoke right now. I was like getting ready to go back, but then Omicron came in and ruined my plans. So now I'm really just seeing close, close, close friends. Well, not even really friends usually. It's like family. or just very people I'm very, my mom, my sister. Um, okay, so I've got a few examples of of some bowling alley carpets before me. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna get in there and start like doing some things. You know? Like just start doing the thing. Our official count is only at twelve thousand. Wow, that's weird, Vero. I wonder why that is. Okay, so I'm going to start, um, and the one I'm looking at, let me actually, I'm going to re, I'm going to see if I can reshare those pictures that I had and actually um, show them. So let's see. Okay, that's what's happening. Uh, I want this. There we go. Okay, I can move that. I can shrink it. All right, let's move it up. So here is here is kind of what I'm going for, based on the Canadian Forces estimation. What's the Canadian Forces? All right, I'm going to do something with some yellow. So I'm going to put yellow on my palette. I'm going to start on these nails. Uh, well, actually, maybe I'll start, I don't know. I'll start on these nails. Um, let's start with something easy. I see a triangle. So we're going to start with a triangle. Now the question is, can people, yes, people actually can see that I'm doing this triangle. Okay. So we're gonna start with that. Then I also see these like little squiggly ribbons. But actually I'm gonna do it more like, instead of doing the squiggly ribbons, like I can see on there, I'm going to do this more like the little squiggles that were on the Back to the Future plate. Because I think that doing the big squiggly ribbons is going to like be hard. It's not the best looking squiggle, but it's not the worst. Yeah, I'm going to manually do the squiggles uh, because I don't want to... Uh, and I want to deal with the stamping plate. Okay. Um, it just wasn't looking that good. I tested it on a few like uh, test nails. I wanted to do a star, but this is going to, I want it to be hollow. But this star is going to end up being um, filled because I don't think I can make it look nice enough if I do it hollow. Here we go. All right. So let's see. Uh, there's squares and there's circles. I guess I'll try doing a circle. This uh, this is going to run out though. It's going to get dry. Nail polish dries really fast. So if you're used to working with like acrylic paint, it dries really fast. I've tried to uh, use like acrylic paint for my nail art, but Um, I don't like it. And that's the story. 
Pinkies are hard too. Pinkies are hard, are really hard too. Okay. All right, not perfect, but like it's gonna, it's gonna look good. Maybe on this one. Okay, so on my thumb, oh, there's some like stuff on my thumb. Okay, I'm gonna try to do one of those big actual curly things. Okay. Yeah, my yellow is drying out. It's drying, it's drying. Okay. Add some more. Get this. Okay, it's looking all right. And I think it's gonna look even better once everything's like all together. Like each individual piece doesn't have to be perfect, but all together, it's gonna look super cute. Okay, so let's get some green in here. And we're just gonna kind of lather, rinse, repeat. So here's the green. Wonder if I can like put this somewhere where it's like actually visible. I don't know, it, I can't because <laughs> I, want, I want that picture up so I can look at it. All right, so I'm gonna do another one of these squiggles. with the green. I'm going to do it going a different way. And maybe like trailing off. There we go. The problem is with the stamping plate. Now there are some stamping plates that have like more of these kind of shapes. Um, but the thing about the ones that I actually personally own right now is that the shapes are just a little bit too small to really look good uh, with those dots as the background. And so many of these bowling alley carpets I've seen have the dots in the background that I don't want to just like not include the dots in the background. I do have a holographic black polish that I was thinking of using because like black hollow when you add a matte top coat and I will be adding a matte top coat to this art, um, it uh, just kind of looks like fuzz, honestly. Um, so I was thinking of adding that and using that as kind of like the dots, but I decided I decided to go for a cleaner look. Um, I always think that, like, you can get a little bit too messy when you're doing your nail art. I have a hair in this. I want it out. Okay. Okay. It's dry enough that I think I can just get it with my finger. Come on, you stupid hair. Where's a set of tweezers when you need one? Like, where is a set of tweezers when I need one? BRB. I need to grab <laughs> a set of tweezers from my desk across the room. Whew. My tweezers are here. Now, where did that hair go? Come on. I might have to leave this here, which is going to dry. Oh, no. <laughs> I just did the exact thing I knew I was going to do. I knew I was going to do it and I, I'm like, this hair is going to mess up my whole look. And then here I am just messing up my whole look. Okay. It's fine. This is fine. Yes. I get, I have cat hair. Like, it's so funny. Like, I don't know, like hardly any nail artists I know, uh, live in pet free homes. So, 
Uh, we all are just constantly. I do know one person. I don't think she's here right now, but I do know one person who um, has birds. And I don't know if she uh, gets too much bird hair, bird hair, bird feathers. Yes, bird hair. Uh, I'm thinking of fixing this, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, nah, I'm not going to fix this. Cause like, if I fix it, it's just going to make it worse. It's just going to make it worse. I'm just going to make sure that the green is opaque. There we go. Okay. I'm okay with this. My soul's at peace. They put out more dust than feathers. Yeah. Like, I, I had birds, but uh, it was a long time ago, and I definitely didn't do my nails regularly at that time. So, I think that she's a bit safe from the fur. But we're not, because the cats are always up in this room. Um, because I do have two big old floor pillows, and they like to sit on them. Okay, so let's see. What's another shape? Okay, I can do a triangle. I'm gonna do a triangle on this one. My hands are really shaky right now, but that's okay. You can do nail art with shaky hands. The police will not stop you. And you gotta go to bed. Thank you for joining, Vero. I always love seeing you. Thank you for making your time at the end of the day to come see me. All right, and then I think on this one, I don't know I'm gonna put on this one, maybe just another squiggle. Okay, we've got a, I'm not in the cam, there we go. Pinkies are the worst, no, thumbs are the worst. Thumbs are the worst because like a lot of stamps aren't big enough, especially if you have long thumbs, but Oftentimes, you're just not even white enough, you know? Uh, when my current contract at my job ends, I might start doing streams during, like, working hours, too. So, hopefully, I can catch some people who uh, don't want to watch late at night to watch. Okay. Okay. We are going to do, do I want orange? Yeah, there's orange in this. I didn't do anything to my thumb with the green. I should do something on my thumb with the green, definitely. I think maybe this one will be the star on my thumb. I'll do a green star. Okay. I should just get, I need to make sure I have like a bunch of opaque neons. I mean, I have so many neons because neon is like my favorite, uh, Thing to wear on my nails. But not all of them are neon or opaque enough, rather, to really do nail art on a black background. Okay, let's do another. Thing. There we go. All right. There we go. This is looking a little like Oogie Boogie. Okay, this is going to be, this is like dangerous what I'm doing right now. I'm going to do it anyway. All right. Now I've just got to make sure that this star is like really opaque. 
doesn't need to be leveled. Just opaque because the uh, top coat will level it out. Okay, that is kind of a star. You kind of got it going. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to the orange. I'm just gonna kinda of do one shape per color. Oh, that orange is so bright. Oh my gosh, let me move where the black is so you can see it. That orange is so bright. Oh my goodness. OMG, cholesterol. I don't know if y'all know that Vine person, but they do not make content anymore. Okay, so for this nail, I'm gonna do a circle out of this. Here we go. This is definitely not the last time I'm gonna be doing bowling alley carpet nails, by the way, so. Uh, when we get more stamping plates that really show the, have the shapes. This month, or this uh, season, I'm trying not to buy like anything that's not limited edition because spring is my least favorite nail polish season so i think it'll be easy to but still I wanna focus on my summer collections cause for nail polish, I think summer is probably my favorite nail polish season because I love neons so much. And this last summer had so many amazing neons. This summer is when um, Orly made Synthetic Symphony and that's like the best neon purple ever. I'm not using it in this Manny just because um, it's not a stamping polish. And I didn't want to have to make tons of layers for my stuff to like actually be visible. So I thought about testing it to just see if it was opaque enough to work, but I didn't end up doing that. So, so that's that. All right. I'm really enjoying that all of these styles are like coming back in style. I don't remember if I was like into this like weird 90s stuff when I was a kid. Like I know obviously I was into some 90s stuff when I was a kid because I was, you know, a kid. Um, but I don't know. how I felt about, you know, bowling alley carpet. <laughs> um, I do know that like the jazz cups that are so, it's like such a popular thing to like represent nowadays, that pattern, like that just blended into the background for me. Like it was never like, oh, that's a style. It was like, that's a cup. <laughs> I will probably do jazz cup nails though someday. My stars look like super janky. Super janky. But it is what it is. No turning back now. All right, uh, dang. This one looks a little bit like, actually, you know what though, on the stream, <laughs> in the video, this looks like a good star. 
to my eyes, it looks like a bad star. But on screen, it looks pretty good. Okay. Let me just fill in kind of the gaps here. There we go. Okay, now what to put on my thumb. I'm gonna be a loser and I'm just gonna put like a fucking square. Not that putting a square there. You gotta have like the plain shapes to have the cool shapes. And you can quote me on that. All right, uh, let's get, need some more orange because we are running out. There we go. And here we are. More orange. All right, let me kind of like up the opacity on this. Sweet. I wonder if my sister was able to make an account. She meant to make an account, but didn't like any of the names she wanted. So press off to pay respects. Okay, so now we got these. I think we're going to move to pink. Pink is arguably my favorite color. My favorite nail polish color. <laughs> my favorite kind of nail polish color is pink with a blue shimmer. And I know that's very specific, but that is how it is. That's what I like. Okay. This one is missing a star, but like, uh, you know, I guess I got to put the star on because everyone else has a star. So you're going to have a pink star. I don't want like my body doesn't want to do it over here. But we're going to do it anyway. Okay. Doing this from the top actually works a lot better. Like, I was, like, starting the star legs first. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, now that I say that out loud, that sounds insane. But I'm sure other people understand what I'm saying. Like, there's, like, the top of the star, the five-point star. It's kind of like the head. And it's kind of like humanoid, isn't it? It's kind of... Got like little legs. This one actually is looking a lot better than the other ones. And I think it's because I started from the top. And that's what I think happened. All right. That looks pretty cute. All right. What do you need? You also need a star. Everyone needs a star. Okay, we're not going to give you a star. We are going to give you a big circle. There's some big circles that are kind of like connecting two things. So let's give you a big circle. Here we go. Then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to like add whatever I think is missing to each nail. There we go. All right. This is not... So not very like <laughs> this is <laughs> I, I really love that actually 
<laughs> you had skating rink carpet. I think those two are very, they're very closely linked. I don't know if I went bowling or skating more as a kid. I did go skating a lot. I did. This one needs a square. We're going to do it on its side. I lived in Arizona for like a hot second and I remember like the one thing to do there. There are two things that we did there for fun, like going places wise. Uh, and one was a skating rink called Great Skate. And one was the Science Center. And I gotta say, like, the Phoenix Science Center really, really blew the Orange County one away. Like, the Orange County one's not as good as the Phoenix Science Center was. I loved going there. I think we had passes. <laughs> they played all the rad songs. Yes! I still remember, like... And when they would play YMCA and everybody would be like doing the YMCA with their hands going around the skate rink. It was so cute. Okay, this one on the end doesn't have a triangle. So we're going to add a triangle. Also, also my prime skating years was around the time the Macarena came out. And if you've never done the Macarena while skating, I don't think you've lived. Like... People give the Macarena a lot of shit. And I'm not saying it doesn't deserve it. I will say, though, that, like, you know, we weren't a generation that really had the twist or, like, uh, anything like that. So, like, having a song, like, there's a few songs that you could, like, you know, do the dance to. But, like, it was fun to have a song you could do the dance to. I just don't like the part of Macarena when, like, Macarena starts talking. Because she just sounds like kind of a bee. <laughs> why are you so sorry that I didn't have a lot of songs you could dance to? Is that why you're so sorry? Why are you so sorry for? An all night skate. That sounds so dangerous and yet so fun. I would so die if I went skating now. I have achy, breaky heart and cha-cha slide. <laughs> I, like, I didn't hear cha-cha slide until I was like way grown up and I was going to weddings and I heard it at weddings and everyone knew how to do it. And I was like, what is this? I loved it though. I loved it so much, but I'm still bad at the cha-cha slide. I don't know what they're asking for. I don't know. Okay, triangle. Right here. Okay, these are looking pretty sick. I gotta say. Okay, so I think we have one more color to kind of incorporate here and that is blue. I should add a few of those big circles because there are those big circles. Never went to those. We had them here where you would be in from night till morning. You weren't allowed to fall asleep. <laughs> Skating to Macarena seems crazy. Yeah, it, it was so like, I want to do it now. I want to go and I want to skate to the Macarena. <laughs> it was fun. Um, I got a, I did like a broom ball lock in one time, but I didn't really know anyone well. Those weird church lock, it was a weird church lock in. I thought I was Christian for a while and I went to a church lock in is actually what it was. Um, I'm actually Jewish, but I decided to dabble in Christianity. Um, and I did go to a church lock in. Okay. What can I put here? I'm going to put another, oh wait, I wanted to do the big circles. I don't want it as big as this other one though, even though I think I'm already starting it as big as the other one. Because this other one's like encompassing like the whole, 
Like, it looks like this is, like, a symbol on my middle finger. <laughs> All right, I've already, I've already committed to this now. So this is going to be, like, as big as the other one. We're going to fake it. We're going to fake it out. We're going to make it not as big as the other one. We're just going to pretend that this is the diameter this circle has. And we're just going to do that. Like, I think I'm doing these circles wrong, but, you know, teen church lock-in just sounds cruel. <laughs> but it's a situation. It's really exasperates. <laughs> Not let them act like the primates they were. Let me tell you, kids were acting like the primates they were. I guarantee you. They were... They were getting primitive. That's where I learned the term, do you, or like the phrase, do you have to pee like a racehorse? Like somebody said that, like somebody was like, I have to pee. And then somebody else was like, do you have to pee like a racehorse? Like just like that. And I don't know why, but that always stuck with me. I always think of peeing like a racehorse now. These circles are weird. I kind of regret adding them, but um, we're here now. We're here now with the circles. Um, I'm gonna add some more squiggles. I do like the squiggles. I think the squiggles are the best. There we go. I feel like me going to an all night skating thing would just like, it would just take my the possibility of me falling over and make it not a possibility anymore, just like an actuality. Here's another, like, is that the same fucking hair? Excuse my French. Please allow me to remove you. I can like move it. I can move it with the tweezer. Oh, thank God. Does your horse prince pee like a racehorse? He probably does. I just don't think I've gotten to that episode yet where like the uh, the chick has to deal with the horse prince peeing. I'm going to do another triangle over here, I guess. There's two hairs. Oh my God, I'm leaving that one. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not even going to bother with that. Someone is texting me. All right. Okay, so I need to fill out. I don't like the ones that just kind of look like they're like a circle of things. I want them to look like more random. You broke your hand seven years ago roller skating. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I wanted to say get well soon, but that was seven years ago. So I really, if you aren't well soon, I really do hope you get well soon. <laughs> uh, let me make sure no one's telling me like, I don't know, like something weird. Ah, my sister is watching invisibly. So everybody say hi to my sister. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, what do we need more of? I think we need um, maybe more pink or maybe some purple. I'll use this purple. That's what I haven't used yet. Oh, I didn't use the blue on my thumb. So let's use some blue on my thumb. I've broken my sister's finger like a few times. Not like I didn't like grab it and break it, but we were rough housing. And I broke it. Uh, I wish there was more shapes to choose from. But I might just have to start doubling up on shapes. I mean, I don't know why I'm worried about that. Like this, how these bowling alley carpets work. I like the triangles because they only have three angles. And uh, that's easy to draw. Okay. Here we go. I think if I wanted these to, like, be more of, like, up in each other's business, I needed to, like, have them overlap more. It's really thin and I was getting a lot. It's an adult. Actually, I guess if people watch this later, they can read it on the screen. 
Yes, it might put you off. Wait, do you do you know that for a fact that you can skate forward back uh, skate backward better than forward? I was never able to skate backwards and they'd always be like backwards skate time and I'd be like um not for me. Thank you. I will not be skating backwards. All right. Um going to do some purple here. I was going to do purple, like coming into this pink triangle on my thumb. These are looking cute as hell, though. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm just going to do some, like, little overlapping. I broke my wrist restaurants falling off a bench. I'll play my boobs. <laughs> I think that more than my butt or, or more than my boobs and my belly drawing me forward, um, like my butt would probably. So it's probably harder for me to skate backwards because I do have a really big butt and I cannot lie. Physically incapable of lying because I have a big butt and I like it. Uh, I want to do another squiggle, but the only place, I guess I'll do, I'm going to do like a, a square, but a, um, like square on its side, like a diamond, kind of. Ah, very nice. <laughs> just going just going like it doesn't look that great but you know we're working with what we got and these are stream nails so I'm not holding myself up to the same standards I mean not that I hold myself up to like crazy crazy standards when it comes to nail art like I've said it before I'll say it again the thing I love about nail art is that like it is inherently impermanent um, my nails are not going to last. The pictures will last. That is permanent, but the nails won't last and you can't take forever to do them. I can't just like sit here doing my nails forever. I can't like leave my nails undone for days. Well, I think about what I could do better or what I'm doing wrong. And that's what I really love about nail art. Is that you just you just can't be too picky like you're not allowed I don't have a lot of circles so I think I'm gonna go through and I'm going to and I'm gonna add some yellow I'm gonna add a yellow circle to this ring finger here all right yellow circle is bleeding a little bit off the side but that's okay We've got a yellow circle down here i'm also gonna do like well just let's use some yellow well we've got the yellow out do we have i'm gonna do a yellow circle going off the edge here by the way like um especially on Instagram or Facebook. If anybody has like ideas for manicures for me to do, um, I like doing them for movies. I like, I like, you know, my, my name on here is Fanaticure and I do like doing, um, manis that like are part of things that I'm a fan of. So if you've got any ideas, like I'm like all the way over there, let me know. Any requests, any movies that you think I, like a manicure inspired by them would be cool. I'm open to ideas. Of course, I've got a lot of ones I want to try. And then for movies that I have things to say stuff about, like I have opinions and ideas that I want to share, 
I'll probably be um, putting episodes about them on my YouTube channel. Right now, the only thing up there, I mean, there's a few different things up there. Like there's me doing ASMR looking at stamping plates. But that was mostly because because I have friends who enjoy uh, the sound of a stamping plate being peeled and ASMR. So I did that for them. Um, and then I have a walkthrough of a base in Subnautica that's like totally not nail related, but it's fan related. And then I have like a video the way that I want my videos to be, which is about the Jungle Cruise movie because I did work as a Jungle Cruise skipper for several years. Um, so I did a video about the Jungle Cruise movie and I did Jungle Cruise nail art. So my YouTube channel is Fanatic here. You can check it out. Um, it's linked in my Instagram, which is also called Fanatic here. We're Fanatic here all the way down. And then I'm going to be ending my current contract soon with work and I'll be uh, working more on the channel and stuff until I do something else. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so I just need a few like off the side things so that it's like obvious that like these nails don't end on my nails, you know what I mean? So, I'm just gonna do like one of those circles off the edge here. I just want it to be obvious that the bowling alley carpet or the skating rink carpet, as it were, uh, does not end. We're going to do a squiggle going off the side here. Then I'll just clean up that edge with my cleanup brush. I don't love these big circles I made, but you know, it is what it is. And overall, <laughs> this is an extremely cute look. Um, let me get my brush back. I'm gonna do another circle going off the edge down here. What I found really separates like the manicures I love versus the manicures that I like when it comes to nail art is stuff like things going off the edges. Like I don't like it when there's just like a kind of a picture in the middle. Like not as a rule. Sometimes people, you know, or I will do manicures where like there's like something cool that's like going that's like just in the middle. It's just a picture. But I find that I just enjoy it better when the image is cropped or looks like it keeps going or continues on to the other nails. I like that. Okay. So for this hand, I'm going to do another circle. The circles are easy. All right. Here comes other circle. All right, and I think that is basically done. Oh, maybe just like one thing down there. What color is like least represented here? I guess purple, but I'm just gonna do green because I've got this like wet green right here. There we go. Big circles going off the side. Oh, and I feel like this side could like have like one thing. I think like orange. Just one more thing. I am truly the Columbo of nail art. It's crazy how popular like Columbo has like, 
I don't know if like everybody is like just constantly surrounded by Columbo references, but I feel like all the YouTubers I watch talk about Columbo all the time. And they're all my age. And I'm like, I didn't even watch Columbo when it was on. Like my grandpa might have watched Columbo, but I didn't watch Columbo with my grandpa. My grandpa did though watch Murder She Wrote. I do remember that very vividly. Okay, there's that. All right, I think, I think the art is done. <laughs> I See, I'm not cool enough. I've heard the Rockford Files. I've heard the Rockford Files. I've heard this name. I'm not cool enough to know what the Rockford Files is. Um, we did, though, we watched a bunch of Columbo for a while, just like me and my friends and uh, Fanatic Curious Husbando all watched that together for a while, and it was really fun. I really enjoyed Peter Falk. He was so fun. Yeah, right? And uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Pushing Up Roses, she does, um, she has a video or two about Columbo, but she does a series called um, That One Time on Murder, She Wrote. And she talks about Murder, She Wrote, and it's really fun. Uh, I think there's a hair in this one, too. I don't like that you have a hair in it. So what I'm adding right now, um, I'm doing a maniology smudge free top coat on top of these i do this um he wasn't your grandma watched the rockford files in hawaii 50 <laughs> hawaii 50 um is so silly <laughs> yeah i also liked how his wife always helped him oh but yeah what i was saying smudge free top coat smudge free top coat is the best um it doesn't smudge your nail art so it is water-based um and i think how it works is um it doesn't contain the same ingredients as nail polish that like will cause the nail polish to like basically melt when it is touched by a regular top coat so It just adds a layer between your nail art and your top coat so it doesn't all melt together. Yeah, I feel like Columbo and Murder, She Wrote kind of like go in the same category of just like non-action crime fighty people doing their thing. Um, and because this is a neon um, manicure that I, uh, am not using my favorite neon in, I think that I'm going to stick my face away from the microphone again. I think I'm going to use Synthetic Symphony on my other hand. So let's go. I'm going to take down this picture of the, uh, of the carpet, of the bowling alley skating rink carpet. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to hide this layer. All right, save. Huzzah! And then on this hand, while we do these layers, I'm going to do Synthetic Symphony with a flaky hollow taco. Because it's been a while. It's been a while since I've Synthetic Symphonied, and this and Moy Caliente, um, they're definitely both my favorite Orleys. They might be my favorite polishes, but like, um, I gotta give props to what was Live Love Polish and is now Mooncat. They um, have a shade called Mercury's Tears, and that might be my favorite shade of all time but like 
I don't know. It's like choosing between my children. I don't have any children, but I assume it would be like that. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay, though. Okay. So, like, here's the thing, though, Sark. Like, this is your first foray into, into like, nail art, I think. Um, the, I might have said Flaky Hollow Taco because one of the most famous brands of nail polish is Hollow Taco. And my flaky hollow top coat is Taco. I did say it. Yeah. Yeah. The nail people, like, they know what's up. <laughs> like, they know what's up. I actually have, like, I have a hollow taco cap. Like, all, so all my caps right now have this on it. Um, like, it shows what they are. Oh, here's, here's a cap, though, that doesn't have it. And so they're, like, uh, their image, see, it's a CD because that's holographic. And then a taco. Like, okay, I'm going to send you some Christine videos because, like, Simply Nail Logical, who started Hollow Taco, she's a YouTuber. Um, she's actually hilarious. She's actually amazing. You have a hollow sexual t-shirt from back in the day. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, I came, I came, started watching Christine, like, pretty late in the game. Like, right as she was releasing hollow taco um I started watching her and then actually how I got into nail art so like my friend you know told me like oh you should be watching this youtuber Christine simply nail logical she's so funny you should watch her and I was like yeah I'll do that so I started watching her and found out that she was like besties with a youtuber I already watched Sophia Nygaard yes tacos you got that lasagna though, hun. <laughs> um, so I was already watching Sophia Nygaard, who I also like highly recommend. Um, and she was super funny. And then my friend was recommending Simply Nail Logical. And I was like, okay, like, oh, she's friends with this other YouTuber I love. So I'll start watching her videos. And so I started watching her videos, just not as a nail person, um, just for fun, just like for comedy. Because uh, her, her videos were really, really funny. Um, and so I was doing that and then she released hollow taco. And so like for my birthday, I asked for a couple of shades of hollow taco. Um, and I got them and she makes these things called linear hollows. I'm just explaining that because like there's, you know, cause there's somebody here. Cause there's someone who's not part of the cult yet. Um, she makes these linear holographic polishes and also these multi chromes that change colors uh let's see do i have on hand so like they just kind of like shift like it's hard to see on camera but like holographic polishes are amazing um and then multi-chromes are like a bunch of different colors depending on how the light hits them where are all my okay here's that's blue ain't slick that's not going to show up very well um it's kind of hard to see too unless you have like an alternate light source. Um, but anyway, so like the pandemic started and I was using, yeah, right, get in the cult. Um, Cause I was, and I was using those nail polishes and like one of the only things that made me happy was like seeing the nail polishes in the light and like watching them shift and stuff. Like that just brought me so much joy. It's just such an innocent joy just to use these fancy finished nail polishes like they're so beautiful um no why are you doing this i can't believe you've done this uh so yeah so from that i just started buying more and more nail polish and it just kind of became my thing all right, now I'm adding a, a protective top coat. So this is KB Shimmers clearly on top. Um, I actually started off my first like quick dry top coat. Um, I used was Super Glossy Taco by Hollow Taco. Um, and this is like just as good, but for half the price with a better brush and actually more polish so no shade on christine but um she doesn't always have the best price on basics and like 
she's a she's a high end brand, so like that's totally that's totally cool. Like she doesn't have to have the best prices on bases on the basics rather. Um, but KB Shimmer really does. KB Shimmer is like a really good brand. Yes, we have been so distant from Innocent Joy. Absolutely. Okay, there we go. There we go. And that's done. Um, I need to make sure I've got my, I've got to have my, uh, I got to have my pops. No, um, I've got to have, I just said that, like, that's all I could think about. My uh, matte top coat, because we're going to mattify this. So beautiful. Top coat always, like, also smooths out a design. It's beautiful. Do about the men and nail polish. Yes, yes, I agree, Twirl. They are like, you know, they are a good percentage. I did watch that video too. They are a good percentage more expensive. Like most of them are. Like, aren't her bottles? I don't know. How much is her stuff? Like 12? Let me look up Hollow Taco right now. Is she like a 12 or a 16? <laughs> I know so I know way too much about nail polish prices. Oh my god, I do hate that every time I go on her website, it's like, "Do you want emails? Do you want this? Do you want that?" And I'm like, "I already get your emails." They aren't that much. They aren't that much more expensive. Like, I, they are like the, like a third more expensive. Fourteen dollars, yeah. But yeah, the problem is, is that those dudes' nail polishes suck. Like. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they suck. I don't know if they actually suck, but like they're not, um, they don't use like cool stuff, but yeah, no, you're right. You're right. And they're selling a brand too. And she's selling a brand. Yeah. She can be a bit hypocritical, but like, I don't really care that much. You know, she's not like hypocritical in like a super dangerous way or anything. Uh, let me go grab my matte top coat. So I have it when I want it before I paint my nails on my other hand and they're all delicate. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, none of us are perfect. That's kind of how I feel. Like, I think a lot of people expect YouTube stars or streamers or just online people in general to be perfect. And I'm not saying, like, at all that we shouldn't hold people to a high standard and shouldn't, like, keep people accountable. But I am saying, like, sometimes, like, especially if you're a streamer, like I'm doing right now, I could say something totally bullshit and then be like, oh, crap, I shouldn't have said that. And like followed up by immediately being like, oh crap, I shouldn't have said that. And then people could just spread around what I had just said. Um, and then people will get mad at it. So it's a tough life. Now, obviously she's like a freaking millionaire, so it's not that tough of a life, but still. Respect, my friends do weird shit too. So I'm gonna roll my matte top coat a little bit. Cause this is a top coat so i'm not gonna shake it um also one thing about matte top coat that i've noticed is that like it can get little particles in it so i'm now i'm very particular about making sure there's no little particles in my matte top coat okay i also need enough top coat to get on there okay I might need to do another layer for this nail because it's kind of looking a bit bumpy. But I'll come back and do that second layer. If you do layers too close to each other, sometimes they can mess each other up. By too close, I mean too close in time. Here we go. It's a bit bumpy today. Trying to make this nice and level, but I do have that problem with matte sometime. Oh, it's kind of okay. It's leveled itself out, though. It's leveled itself out. There we go. Yeah, I think it's just like, you know, when you get those little crusties on the top of your nail polish bottle, like that can happen. And those like leave like a white deposit on your nail. Okay. 
All right, yeah, my thumb does need like a little touch up. It's a little. Let me just get it all the way there. Okay, oh my God, they look adorable. Look at those. They look so stinking cute. Look, oh my God. Calm down, DD. <laughs> Anybody see those rainbow sponge commercials? I love those rainbow sponge commercials. Oh my God, I love it. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. I'm so happy with these. I'm so happy. I love them. I love them. Now that we have them done, we can use our special backgrounds. <laughs> I can just push all this nail stuff off the edge over here, my KNI brush. And we can just show them off. <laughs> it doesn't look that good, but I'm definitely going to be using this as a background when I take a picture of it later. Wow, I'm so happy with these. Thanks for joining me, everybody. It's a super fun. I keep seeing parts of this that like I didn't fully get with a matte top. Go. It's driving me insane. This is super fun. I think it's a super cute little pair. I think this is a nice, nice little set. Um, thanks for joining me again. If you came here again, thanks for joining me for the first time. If you're here for the first time, um, I'm going to try to stream every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So come join me next week. I think we are doing um, Eddie from Rocky Horror Nails. So please come join me for that. I've got some pretty cool ideas for it. It's going to be a little bit bloody, but like Rocky Horror is a little bit bloody. So that's what it is. And the last one was like covered in blood. So um, if <laughs> you like that, you'll probably like next week's too. Um, so yeah, I will see y'all later. Check out my YouTube, check out my Instagram, um, but mostly have a good evening. Enjoy your week and goodbye. <laughs>